Final word, democracy deficit. Well, uh, uh, the, the gentleman who raised the question uh, was honest enough to say what his uh, view was as he described himself as a Brexiter. Um, so the degree, lack of, excess of democracy on the other side of the channel is absolutely none of your business, pal. <laughs> we've, we've given it up. Uh, without any really significant attempts to make any improving changes. Now, it just so happens we have a president at the moment who in the wake of a coronavirus crisis, or if it is the wake, and with the criminal war being conducted by Russia in Ukraine, uh, has appeared behind the microphone more than usual. But we've had silent presidents of the commission. Gaston Ton, Jacques Santer, and others. Uh, and uh, that hasn't made any difference uh, to the complaints, uh, real or imagined, about the democratic deficit. If I can just do a little ABC without being any way patronizing, the council governs the joint decisions, agreed decisions, of the European Union. The Council is made up entirely of elected ministers from the Member States. It is therefore, by any measure, uh, democratically appointed, having been elected in its own country. Secondly, we have a directly elected European Parliament, the only international directly elected Parliament in the world. And there is the Commission, which is an administration that has a policy development role. And when the council decides that the law must be enforced, it is obliged to enforce the law, just like the civil service in this country. Now, uh, it may be that there could be ways of improving the commission. Electing it wouldn't make any difference at all. And I'll tell you why. Because it is a college, because it is uh, this, uh, a, a grouping, uh, an institution that must live by day-to-day -day joint determination and agreement in the exercise of its treaty-established functions. Because of that, there's no patience or room for somebody who turns up with their national flag as a vest underneath their shirt. Because everybody can play that game. And so consequently, the decisions have to be pragmatic and objective and based on their merits, not on favoritism towards a political party, a political grouping, or a member state. Now, I think that's in any kind of multinational setting that is governed by democracy, that's about as good as you're going to get. So I can think of better ways of communication of information, of citizen engagement, of explanation. But the democratic deficit is largely figmentary. On that